In this Sailing Doodles video, Laura and I have our last sail together. This sail is made possible by Sailogy.com. They supplied the two Bali 40 catamarans that we were sailing down in St. Vincent. They have a worldwide charter network and an easy to navigate website where you can book your own adventure. I'm excited to announce our next patron sale is set for the Bahamas and registration is open for our patrons. We have two catamarans reserved. We have a Helia 44 and a Bali 40 catamaran. We will be sailing one way from Nassau to Georgetown in the Exumas. I would encourage our patrons to sign up today as we can only hold on to the boats until Monday the 18th. My lips are sunburned. It's a good way to start the day, sunburned lips. Kind of like the crackhead thing going on with the white lips. How's your Hey, you can't put that on there. My, uh, <laughs> my, my food poisoning is back. I feel okay, just the plumbing's not working too well. Uh, but, uh, sorry, you didn't need to know that. Kind of hanging out in this uh, lazy morning. It's kind of rainy. Uh, we're gonna head north to Beckway. It's about 20 something miles. So we're looking at you know, four, four or five hours of sailing. Um, should have good wind for it. Uh, maybe beating into it slightly, but should be a good little, little sail. And we got one more night. We're gonna go to Admiralty Bay there and go see the sights. And we may try to do a little swimming here before we leave because that place is a bit more, I don't know, populated. And this is kind of like a nice little calm, isolated bay. So we're having a good time so far. We decided to go spend a few more hours on shore before heading out. There was one small resort on the island with only about four or five rooms, but everything else is just for cruisers. The resort looked like it had one time been quite nice, and it was still nice, just not very populated at the moment. All right, Chatham Bay on Yuna Island, a uh, pretty nice, relaxing spot to hang out. If if we were actually cruising, we weren't here for just a week, we'd spend four or five days here for sure and just chill. Um, so if you're gonna cruise through here, definitely check it out, nice spot. Good little restaurant over there and some beach bars and stuff. So pretty chill Wanna place play though. play a game? Not really. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> So now we are headed up to Bequia. Uh, one more night on the boat and then we gotta take it back. But I uh, got the sails up, moving right along. We're doing just under six knots. I think we got about 10 knots apparent, or 10 knots true wind, because our apparent wind's about 15 and we're heading almost into it, so. Where you are you know, taking us? We're going to Bequia. Um, it's about 27 miles to go total. Yeah. So, and it's already like 1.30 or 2, so if... That place has a pretty good reputation, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we'll take a look at it. You know, we don't pick up some more speed here soon, we'll probably just motor sail so we don't get in at like, you know, sunset. You always want a motor sail, but you never want a motorboat. <laughs> That's not true. That's not true. One of those is not true. Wait, both of those are not true. <laughs> We definitely got our wish for more wind as we actually had to reef both the main and the jib just a little bit. Before the wind picked up too strong, I was able to put the drone up and get some shots of us actually sailing. Two Bali 40 catamarans sailing together.
made good time and pulled in well before sunset. It's almost like there was an unfinished resort or something that got taken out by a hurricane. It's, yeah. uh, I don't know. It's all through the cliff there and it's just all empty and deserted. And then whatever this is by the water. There were several loud clubs and restaurants right there at the mooring field. We are here in Bequia. Uh, what are the odds? It's just sailing such a small world. We're pulling in as I saw Hylas over there. It's like, eh, I'm gonna go check that boat out. And say, hey, that guy's is that a Hylas? And like, yeah, what is it, like a 60? And they're like 63. And then the captain takes the sunglasses off. I'm like, hey, <laughs> it's the same one of the same guys I met at the Hylas event in Annapolis. He was the captain on the Hylas 70. I heard that one was for sale, so maybe he's captain on this one now. But pretty interesting. Small world. The other catamaran pulled in right at a beautiful sunset. That evening we decided to head ashore to see what kind of fun was going on there. Some of the restaurants were very busy with a party. Let's see if they can catch here. Here you go, guys. Hey. Oh, no. <laughs> they didn't catch it. Dave! Do your bird call. Mine, 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 <laughs> mine, mine. Oh. I bet the fish love this game. <laughs> I wonder what happens when I throw this much up. No. <laughs> They're all going. Wow. All right, let's do it. Take a go. Oh, wow. I gotta go back to the <laughs> He's trying to like, get away from me. <laughs> They're having a dog fight. Oh, uh, we went ashore to get a daytime tour of the island. All right, so we decided to take a little island tour. Nine minutes to 11. Nine minutes to 11. Okay, so we're paying $40 for an hour just to go around the island in the in the back of a taxi. Hopefully we get some uh, 40 AC, you know, doing 40 miles an hour, yeah. close you off. <laughs> but uh, it was 40, uh, 40 bucks for, the, for an hour, not, not too bad. So this is Fort Hamilton. It's actually named after Alexander Hamilton, one of the founders, founders of the United States. He was born in the West Indies. You see, I did not know that. Uh, but uh, this was built in the mid 1700s to protect against American privateers and French raiders from the uh, protect uh, the, against those from the British. The, the story is that uh, what um, a cannon split split the split the end of the tip off over there. Yeah, yeah, the end of this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that. Yeah, <laughs> that's a long shot. Yeah, that's a long one. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I was saying we only have 6,000 people here. We don't have college here for the kids. Uh -huh. If they want to go to college, they will have to go over to St. Vincent, that's the main island. Every morning at 6.30 on the ferry, and they go over to St. Vincent for college. And come back in the evening at 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock. Wow. Yeah, every day. Only on Sunday they don't go to them. But now it's vocation. School is on vocation now, so. Everybody's learning. Everybody's learning. Yeah. And this is our driver, bay, yeah. by the way. What's your name? My fat name man. is Kenrick, but everybody call me Fat Man Tax. Fat Man Tax? You don't look fat. No. Uh, <laughs> I used to work for Fat Man. He died. I take over the place. Oh. <laughs> so okay. where, where you guys from? But these are not goats. These are sheep. Because the tail, the tail are down. The goat yeah. tail are up. Oh. Yeah, the sheep tail. So these are sheep. sheep. So a goat has a T at the end. So, so it goes up, up and a sheep has a P at the end, so yeah, it goes, goes down. down. Okay, alright. What do you call this? Uh, is it the sar 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 yeah, yeah. sar yeah, I've heard the, uh, the, the it's like a seaweed algae type stuff, and it's been really bad the past few years. It's like gotten worse every year for the past like five or six years, and this year is supposed to be like the worst year yet. Oh, look at on the beach up here. Smell it, babe. <sighs> That's not me. That's the that's the problem with that stuff is it does smell like the seaweed that we found in the med didn't ooh. Yeah, it's stinky. Yeah, this yeah. Yeah, yeah. No. Thank you. Yeah. The sargassum can be a real problem and can shut down entire beaches and resorts. I want to touch one too. Well, those Just aren't like that. Oh. So, so I've seen, yeah. Well, he'll tell us. I've seen so many. Uh, oh yeah. Because they are quick. Yeah. They can bite you. Will they bite you? <laughs> that would be a cool story. How you lost your finger? And their beak is like a parrot. Yeah, a beak like a parrot. Cut you easily. Cut, oh wow. So what? Are you part of the reason I've seen more turtles here than anywhere else? But I suppose I am here 24 years doing this. Uh huh. I have released 944. Okay. Really? So you should see some of them. They look really friendly. Well, <laughs> so friendly and gentle, but okay. what, they really, really, what they're really looking for is food. They are? What do you give and them? And I feed them a little fish, and your fingers look like a little fish. Oh. So, what kind of turtles are these? Hawksbill. Ha Hawksbill? Hawksbill. Look at their feet. Yeah. And how long do they live? 200 years. 200 years? All sea turtles live 200 years. And so, how old are these? These are about three and a half. And then the ones over there, the bigger ones? Those bigger ones are five and six. And so, how, what age do you release them? Those sizes. About the ones that get there? Okay. And so they have no problem adapting to, in the wild? Not at all, not yeah. at all. That's the world. Yeah. To adapt. Yeah. They are made to adapt. Okay. Yeah, they're cool. I'll nice. tell you why. A little baby. Yeah. When it goes into the sea, it eats jellyfish. Uh -huh. It lives way out in the ocean eating jellyfish. Uh -huh. It grows to this size and then comes back into the reef. Okay. Then from eating soft jellyfish to eating crabs and roaches and crustaceans and so. Mm -hmm. So it, it's made to adapt. Yeah. What's the name of this place, Laura? Whalebone. Wishbone. No, it's not. Whalebone. Whaleboner is the name of the place. You don't know what that is? I don't know what you don't, is. You don't get that, why that's funny? Really? Is it the obvious or is yeah, it Yeah, it's obvious. Else? Okay. Whale boner. That's the name of the place. How many times are we gonna say whale boner in one minute? Whale boner, whale boner, whale boner. Demonetize, demonetize, demonetize. After exploring ashore, it was time to head back to the boat. Getting ready to leave Beckway, and it's about nine miles uh, back to St. Vincent Blue Lagoons where we're taking the boat. 
Got to be there by 5.30 tonight and it's already a little after two. So we were talking about going around south around the island and coming back the long way, but I don't think we have time. So we're just gonna head the nine miles and head back. But uh, beautiful place here. Pretty cool spot. Definitely come check out St. Vincent. All right, we went ahead and put the, uh, the main up while at the mooring. It's just easier sometimes that way. And the guys are gonna let loose the, uh, the mooring lines here and we'll be gone. Well, the wind wouldn't quite let us sail a high enough line to get back to our uh, uh, the bay where the boat is kept, so we're gonna have to tack here in a minute. Say what you want about the self-tacking jib. You know, it's probably good for charter because it's self-tacking and pretty easy, so we're about to do that. There you go. We're tacking! go and so it puts about 60 degrees off the wind if you can. Made it on the dock unscathed. What do you think Laura? How was the grenadines? I don't want to leave. I know it's nice. We have one week is not enough. You're gonna charter do two weeks. Yes, I agree. There you go. So how was it? It was amazing. I what, loved it. What was so your favorite part? Um, sailing in 30 knots of wind. That was fun, huh? <laughs> yeah, was. Throwing some reefs in there? Yeah, it was exciting. Mm -hmm. um, All right, great. Some big waves and it's cool. So what do you think about um, having a different crew, people that you didn't meet before? And... Um, I think most sailors like each other, so it was awesome. Well, cool. well thank, thank you for coming out with us, man. And uh, thanks for being a patron as well. Appreciate you. So. Thank you. Alrighty. Were you going in for a kiss there? <laughs> I was. <laughs> so guys, how was the whole trip? It was a blast. Yeah, you had fun? Good. Yeah. Yeah. You had a better time than you thought you'd have? I definitely did have a better time than I thought I would. Okay, yeah. cool. And how did you like the catamaran and everything? Camera was good, you know, like every boat you, you rent, there's good things and bad things. Um, I learned a lot about self-tacking jibs. I yeah. ne never used one of those before, so I learned a lot with that. And uh, had a great first mate. We worked well together. Russell. Mm -hmm. yep. And uh, it was a great experience. Uh, this, this area down here, I would really like to come back down yeah. here. Much it's different than northern Bahamas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's different. And everything. Yeah. Thank you guys for coming down. Thank you, Thank for, you for being patrons. I really appreciate it. And I guess we'll see you on the next one. Let's hope so. All right, guys. So how was the sale? Oh, over the top awesome. Uh, exceeded all expectations. Um, really put things in perspective. And I think uh, I've got some thinking to do. Yeah? You, you still got to figure out if you're going to do it full time or not? Yeah. Um, take a couple of weeks. Let it sink in. Look at my options. Um, and... Uh, I think I'm going in the right direction. There you go. There you go. And you, now you got to find a job where you can work remotely and just do this, right? Right. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, it definitely gave me something to work towards. Um, and my favorite part, well, one of my favorite parts was actually like getting in the water and, and, and swimming through the reefs and all that. And then, you know, just being able to learn a little bit about sailing while I'm doing it. Cause obviously this isn't like, you know, me going through it to learn how to sail necessarily, but I still got you know yeah. a lot of knowledge through it. So well, guys, awesome. thanks for coming out. I yeah, appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you, patron. I thank you so much. So, and uh, we'll do a couple more of these soon. I'm sure in the next six months we'll have another uh, little cruise. So we'll be there. All right, there sounds there. good. So we're wrapping up the charter here, and we got Josh. He's got yeah. the he's the man with the clipboard. Yeah. Making sure we're, uh, the boat's okay. Correct. Right. Okay. I, everything should be good on it, so we didn't mess anything up. We didn't hit anything. So far, so good. All right, all right. So we take care of this, and then we're gonna stay in the hotel for a night. So. Hey, make sure you zoom in on me. She's working. I'm. I'm pretending to work. <laughs> Please. That's like a hundred and sixty proof, or it's like eighty percent. Zoom in on the bottle. Eighty. Oh my gosh. Eighty-five percent alcohol. Woo! Like that. Cheers. A little ginger. Uh -oh. 
Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. I, you're already hot enough. Hey, baby, come let me, man. Uh. Woo! I'm working on it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, it's good for you. <laughs> you're crying? <laughs> I can light my breath on fire. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I'm not even joking. Whoa. Do another one? Oh, no, no, no. No, <laughs> no more. <laughs> it's like nine in the morning. All right, guys. It has been a fantastic trip. Thank you all for coming. And thank you for being patrons and everything. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Yeah, really, it was a good time. Thank you so much. It was awesome. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you so much to Sailogy.com for supplying these boats. It was a lot of fun and a great place to cruise. And don't forget for our patrons to sign up for our next sail in the Bahamas, February 1st to the 8th. Registration is open now until Monday and are priced by the cabin. As so many times before, I never if you'd like more information on what's going on with Sailing Doodles, including why this was Laura's last sail, check out our new podcast. There's a link in the show notes for the Doodles podcast, so please give that a try and subscribe. Subscribe.